What's good you guys, it's Lifestyle on behalf of BeatStars and in today's video we're going to be showing you how to customize your ProPage 2.0 player. Let's get straight into it. First you're going to sign into your BeatStars account and right over here at the top left you're going to hit My Media and you're going to see ProPage Setup. So go ahead and click that. Now we can open up our ProPage 2 and start customizing it but first we have to add a few things in over here. So we need to add our Favicon which is our small logo that will be presented. Then you have your dimensions right here, so just go ahead and follow those dimensions in either Photoshop or an online program you're going to use to create this favicon. And then just upload it right here. Over here we have domain name, so if you want it to be like lifestyledidit.com for me and I want it to link to my pro page, I would go ahead and set this up right here. You would have to go to like GoDaddy, NetFirm, SlightGround, something like that and buy a domain, follow these instructions to link it. Or you could just use the BeatStars hyperlink that they provide right here and it will bring your people straight to it. It's up to you how you want to do it. Then we have different things right here for keywords and titles. So the title of this pro page is going to be test flight because that's the name of my beat store up here. You would put yours obviously. Then you have keywords. You could put instrumentals, type beats, any type of keywords you want to put where you think if someone were to type it in, maybe your store will pop up. You have description, autoplay, yes or no. When people hop on, do you want them to hear your beat right away? Then terms of use, privacy policy, these are things that you can add that you can look on Google to see how to generate these for your specific website. And we have mailing list subscription forms, so that's Aweber or MailChimp. If you have one of those, you can go ahead and link it right here. And then Google Analytics ID, Facebook ID, you can go ahead and link those two right there. All of this information can be found on Google or YouTube so you can understand what these IDs are. This video, we're just going to be going over how to customize the pro page. So after you do those, we're going to go open pro page two. Now, we are in this specific thing, but the first thing you're going to have to do is sign in to this pro page. Otherwise, you can't customize it. I was already signed in. I signed out to show you what it might look like. If you see login up here, you're going to go ahead and log into it. This is just another secure way to get in. So you're going to need to log in again. So we're going to go in here. So now we're logged in. You see a customized tab page open up. This is how we're going to be able to actually customize this pro page. So you can see I kind of put a bunch of random colors to make it easier. We're going to make this pro page actually look a lot better and cooler. So we're going to hit customize. We get brought up with all these different types of things that we could do to customize. But BeatStars has made it super easy. So if we click fonts, the first thing available, you'll see right here you can replace the main menu font, which is going to be right here. Then replace content font, which is all the fonts that are in here. So if we wanted to change the main menu font, let's say, we go in here and we get presented with all these different ones and we could check them out here, but let's go with something where we can easily see that it got changed. So let's just randomly click this one and pay attention to the font here. It's going to change. Now we have a different font. So let's say that we wanted to have a specific font. You can go in here and look for it, but for this one, I'm just going to keep the standard font. I like how this one looks and we can replace the content font if we want to. We don't have to do that. So for this specific one, I like this font. I'm going to keep that. I'm just going to give you guys an overview of how to change everything. So the next thing we have is our website logo. That's going to be what goes right here. So if you don't have a logo, you can keep this on text. Or if you do, you go ahead and select image and it gives you the dimensions that you need. So if we go over here and we want a text because we don't have a specific logo, maybe we could put anything we want into here. So we could put test flight, which is going to be the name of this store update. We could change the color of it. So let's say we wanted it to be like a red color. Now it's going to be red in the corner. If you have a logo, you can go ahead and follow the dimensions. So if we go over here and put this to image, you will see that it is our image we have selected. So I'm going to show you guys the recommended width and length are right here and the recommended file types are right here. So if I go over here and I navigate to the folder where I have it, you will see this back is what I called it. I saved it as a JPEG. So I hit OK. I hit upload and my file will be uploaded. Since I already had it uploaded, you're going to see it right here. Anytime I could switch back to text or I could go to image. Like I said, if you're on text, you could change this to anything you want it to be and it'll change it to that. So we're going to stick with image. This is how I uploaded mine and you could change that at any time if you want. But I like this one. So as you can see, I have it switched. Now, the next thing we're going to go to is the main menu. So this is what you're going to see up here. So let's say you wanted to change the main menu background color this over here we want it to be black we would go over here and just switch this to black and now it's going to be changed to black for this specific pro page i'm going to want it to be a white background 
Now I'm going to want the text to be black, but we could change different things through here, different colors. I always like to choose a random color to see exactly what I'm editing. So for this, I like that yellow. I want it to be black as we had it. And then if it's active, I want it to be red, which means if someone has clicked on one of these, it's going to turn red. In here, we could change what we want to display, what pages we want to display. Let's say we don't want an about page. All we need to do is not display it. We just want music, tracks. We don't want videos, let's say for the specific one. Maybe we don't have memberships, maybe we do. On this one, we don't. I just want to supply people with my contact, my sound kits, my tracks, and music. So. It depends how you want it to be set up. For this one, I'm gonna make it an easy setup and I'm just gonna have basically beats and a contact form along with my licensing info. So if I hit go ahead and update, now it's gonna publish it and we will see a change and I'm gonna go back to customize, but here's what we're looking at so far. So like I said, we have our beats, we have our licensing info and our sound kits for this specific one. If you want to have memberships, all you need to do is go add the memberships and go in here and make sure it's selected. So let's say we like what we have so far, but we want to change this main background. So the first thing you could do again is have an image or you can have a video or you could just have a blank color. So if we don't have either of those and we want a green color, we select green. Now we have it green. So there's different things that you could do with this. But for this instance, we want an image. So I'm going to go ahead and select image and I'm going to turn this back to black. And over here, since I already uploaded my image, you'll see it right here. Easy again, it gives us the dimensions we need and then we go create our image. So if we go in here, you'll see this background logo I already have in here and I hit upload and it added it right here. So in here you can dim it if you want. So let's say you wanted to dim, I want it to be full. So I'm gonna leave it just like this. So next thing we're gonna do is go to mobile main background. This is gonna be when people visit your site mobile. So again, it gives you the dimensions. So I just took that same exact thing and I added the dimensions to that. I switched them to make it 960 by 890 and I uploaded it. So when people go on my mobile site, it's the same thing. Now we have home page main texts. So let's go over here and let's say that we didn't want the image, right? We just had a color. We don't necessarily want a background. We just want an easy color. So we went ahead and added green for some reason. And then we went over here to main text and now we can add a text right here so we can go ahead and type test flight update text and now we have a text so maybe you want to have a text instead of a background I personally want a background so I'm gonna go main background and I'm going to turn this back up and I'm going to make this white nice and easy flow to it next thing we're gonna do is audio visualizer color so when people are listening to a beat and the audio visualizer is going you can have different things going on so while it's progressing and the audio is going over I want it to be red and then I want the other normal one to be like a light gray so this will be what it shows in the colors while it's bouncing and as it's progressing and going throughout the beat it's gonna be turning red so the next thing we have after that is the home page main buttons. So that's going to be what you see right here. Right now we have search bar. We could change this to shortcut buttons and we'll get these two options and you can add more in. So we could change this music one to tracks. We can do all different types of stuff. And then when they click that, it's going to bring them down to that specific page. For me, I want to do search bar. I want people to be able to search what type of beats they're looking for and easily find them. Next, we have licensing background color. Boom right here you see that we have this ugly yellow let's go ahead and change this to black so now this background is going to be black so you're going to see we have our nice introduction here we have our featured track our tracks right here and then we have this nice licensing info now we're going to go down these rest of the steps and then i'll go in here and edit some of these certain things so youtube video background if i had my youtube channel linked to this which i don't because this is a test site we would get a youtube page just like licensing info sound kits there'd be one right here called youtube and you can load different things related videos on or off and then you could change the section color of this background or you can have an image it's completely up to you so that's if you have your youtube linked if you don't then it's fine it's not going to pop up anything you don't have linked is not going to pop up if i didn't have a sound kit uploaded this sound kits page would not pop up Add a sound kit. Now the sound kits page is available. Easy as just going right over here where I told you guys main menu and adding it in there. 
So the next thing you see is memberships background. We don't have any memberships on this specific pro page, so we're not gonna mess with this. But again, it's the same thing as the rest of them. You can add an image, you can add a color, and it's gonna pop up behind your memberships if you have memberships where people could pay you maybe $20, $30 a month to get X amount of beats or something like that. All your memberships will pop up just like sound kits right here. And over here, you can edit the colors of the backgrounds. Real simple, the same as the rest of the things we've been doing. Now we're gonna get into primary button colors. So these are going to be all these buttons you see everywhere. So if we go ahead and change this, so you can see which one I'm messing with to green. Now we're getting these button colors. So for these specific buttons, I want these buttons to be red. So I'm just gonna select the red that I like. I'm gonna go over here. Maybe this dark red looks good and the text color inside of it, you'll see if we change it, we want this one for this specific page to be white, so it could be a white text on top of red background. And then when they hover over it, it's gonna be black. Let's change that to like a lighter gray. So when they hover over these different buttons, that's gonna turn to that lighter gray. And the hover text color is gonna stay white. I don't want it to change. Next, we have secondary button colors, which is gonna be these buttons up here. So if I go ahead and change this so you could see, and we go with like a blue, it's gonna change that up there. So we're gonna go with the same color as our other one. So we'll just take this code right here and copy it. We'll go in here and we will paste that code right here. And that's gonna give us the same exact color we used. Now they match up, look good. And on top of that, we want it to be white again. We don't want this color to be like green or something that's going to look kind of funny. Keep it the same. We're going to go with white. Next, we have section heading background. Same thing again. You can add an image or add a color. It gives you the widths and dimensions you need. I'm not specifically going to add one for this page because I like how this is looking so far. So I'm going to go ahead and skip that one. But like I said, again, same thing. Choose image or color. It's the same as the rest of the pages. Once you do one, you can do the rest exactly the same. You'll understand them. It's not too difficult. So we have layout colors next. So these different layout colors are gonna change certain things. Like if we click this beat, you'll see it's gonna turn green and purple. And I did that on purpose so it could be easy to notice what we're doing. So if we go over here and we change this green that you see over here to that nice red that we like. So I'm just gonna paste in that code that I copied earlier. It's gonna change that down here. Now that looks good, I like that. Primary text colors, I turned purple. As you're gonna see, they're purple, doesn't look good. We're gonna come over here, we're gonna change that to white. I'm pretty much going white, red, with a little bit of blue you could see somewhere in here. Next thing we're gonna have is highlight color. So that's gonna be over here. If we select these different things, you'll see this yellow is really hard to look at. And over here, you see that too. So we're gonna change that to the red that we were using earlier. So this yellow, it's good to just kind of make these really nasty colors so you could see easily what you're affecting. That's the easiest way I've always done it and I like to do it now. You'll see it's nice and red. It's easy to read. So we're gonna go back over here and start messing with more of these. Feature track background color. So that's gonna be when it's selected. I'm gonna want that to be like a nice gray color. And you can go throughout here and just change all these different things. You can see down here, feature track color. It gives you all these different options. So you can mess with these colors and just change everything. So alternative background color, I want to be this red again. I don't want any blues in there. And the rest of these are looking pretty good to me, so I'm not gonna change too many. So you're gonna wanna just go in here and switch these around and figure out what colors work best for you. I'm gonna go ahead and select this back to white, and I'm gonna leave this as such. And then the last thing we have is footer, which is down here. So we have our footer text. We can add a footer logo if we want, or image, depending on how you wanna do it. Image is gonna give you the dimensions again. They always do that, they're good about that text let's say we want this to say test flight and then update now it adds it down here now we have a cool little text footer and we can go ahead and change that color let's say we want it to be red now it's going to be red and then we could add a footnote if you wanted to put like copyright and then you wanted to add a copyright sign which i don't have on me i'd have to go online to get it now we'll have it down here then after that you would hit publish and your pro page would be nice and set up. But first we're gonna go in here before we leave and we're going to hit edit. If we hit edit on this, we get to edit our different licenses. So that makes it real easy if you wanna change your licenses on the go. You'll see that favicon we uploaded earlier is right here in the corner. So if we wanna change this specific color right here, you see how this is like a dark blue. Let's go into customize. Let's go over here to layout colors. 
and it's going to be this dark blue one right here. So we're going to go over here and make it yellow to make sure. As you can see, it was the one that I said it was. So we're going to change this to red. So like I said, if any of this confuses you, the easiest way to do it is to just pick one of these, choose a nasty random color that will obviously stand out, and then go hunt for it. If you don't exactly know what this is explaining or what this is saying to do when you're like featured track background color, I don't know what that is. Choose a random color and then go look for that color. Boom, that's going to be the easiest way to change it. That's what I do when I create websites and whenever I'm doing a pro page. If I specifically don't see a change, I choose a random color and I go look for it and it'll easily let you know because we're not all going to remember exactly which ones every one of these is changing except for the people that have designed this. So once we're done, we're going to hit publish. It's going to allow us to publish it. And now we have a nice looking pro page. We got our logo right here. We got this nice background with our logo. We have a featured track. We have this beat right here. I don't have artwork for the beat because like I said, this is just a test site. But if you did, it would pop up there. We have our licensing info for this. Nice colors, they work. We have a sound kit. As you can see, I just uploaded one of my sound kits. This specifically wouldn't be the color I would choose for it. And then down here, we have our contact. They could send us a message. And then we have a nice little footer. So if you go ahead and you add services, member services, it's gonna give you another page. If you add different pages on BeatStars, it's gonna give you another page that you can add. If you add your YouTube channel, it'll be easy to pop up. You would just go customize, main menu, make sure you have it displayed, right? We don't have it displayed on this one because I didn't link my YouTube channel. And then you would just go down here after it's published, click customize, and then right here, you can just change everything you want for the YouTube section. If you have memberships enabled, you can go ahead and change the membership background. It'll automatically add it. So if you're not seeing something pop up, make sure to go to the main menu and have it displayed. If you don't have it displayed, it's not gonna work. So if we wanted to change tracks to my beats, it's as easy as just changing the name, update and publish. And you're gonna see it change right here. Now it says my beats. So you could change these to kind of whatever you want it or keep the defaults that BeatStars offers. So that's the easiest way to customize your Pro Page 2.0. I hope this video helps you guys out, thanks.